And of course, we will be kicking off. Billens on the defense side. Nebula going to be on the attack. And this is a bit of a resurgent game here for the side of Nebula. They want to show that even with a stand-in such as Devour, they can really start to build themselves back up as a capable roster. Villains here, this is one of their grudge matches. If Villains take out this game, they t potentially even themselves over into a top two with the likes of Shadownet Bliss. But of course, we'll still await the results for Shadownet and Bliss's games. As I said, Tilted going to be forfeiting their game tomorrow. So the side of uh, Shadownet, I guess it's a bit of a dub on the board. Yet to be awarded though. Oh, well, we get to kick it off. It's a bit of a short play early on here for the side of Nebula. Draft play is uh, going to go out. And the Blast Pack going to come out. Tax is already deep in the site. Could be finding a player new or just a second. Master doesn't expect him there. He gets the dink off. Tax taken low, though. There's two players playing from the shower. Able to trade it back. Pocket with a quick one. Now they back it off for the moment. There's a flank coming in just a second there. The teleporter taken. Swabs on the back line. Frenzy. Long range. Can't find anything. Minimize. Now to try and take the site. But myth. Oh my god. Myth. Takes two already. They don't even allow them into that B site on the rotate. It's going to be the slow rotation over to A here. And this is a smart call from villains. Three into the spawn side. Just going to play for post-plant regardless of where that spike goes down. Jesse. Let him try and be sneaking in. Oh, myth though. Still not missing his shots. Or else. Going to finally get that spike down. And it's a bit of an interesting composition swap here from Nebula. Normally you see Rurls on a bit of a different pick. He's normally on the Brimstone, but he's on the Viper this time. Frenzy to take out Orange Pearl. Gonna be two more to find here. Myth and Pocket to hold the crossfire. Taps come out from Myth. And shots being tapped by Pocket. Two rolls is quite low, but immediately his head ripped off by Pocket. That's gonna be Villains snagging the first one on the board. Pistol goes their way. Offers some very impressive taps. Sheriff on a pistol for a Sova. Not what we're used to seeing, but Myth makes it work. Three on the board for him and the first on the board for villains to kick it off on this first map. And yeah, as I said, oops, sorry. That was a bit of an interesting one. My phone decided to uh, go off. We'll turn that down. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, as we said, a bit of an interesting one. Normally you see it on the duelists. As we said, Sheriff, not a prominent buy. Guiding Light to come out to shower. And again, going for a ton of A control this time for side of villains. Nebula. It's on the other side of that wall. All players towards the long side tax. Gonna be decayed down here. Swap. Thinking about walking in in just a second. Also, the molly underneath the window, though. Myth's gonna be pushing just a second. Guiding light has blind him there, though. Swab's gonna be hitting some impressive spray with his teammate Marsh. Spike goes down at B. Post plant now set up here for the side of Nebula. Another kill goes to Rails, but he's immediately traded by Swab. Now it's up to Devour. It's up to Tax. Now to see Tax hit this first initial shot. Paint shells are going to be tossed on. That stuns some good damage and actually denies them the peak opportunity that they want. Molly goes in and Devour takes another. Just needs to line up the last. Orange Pearl bouncing around. He knows where the Sheriff shots are coming in. The spike has been half tapped, but it's not going to be fully successful. Devour consumes them in his grasp. And that's the first back on the board for Nebula. That was such... A well-placed position there. The Molly, beautiful. Welcome to the Autumn Cup Devour. Second game, of course, in the season for him. And the first clutch on the board. Three on the board for him. And first round now for Nebula in this first map. That's left Villains in a bit of a rough spot. The economy not quite there. Down to roughly 2.5k. Some just under 2k. 
And Sheriff's going to be purchased up here. Marsh is looking to go deep, though. It isn't going to be flushed out for the moment. He's going to let Tax go in. But in the meantime, they're all on the site already. Orange Pelt towards the shower. Spike planted. He's just going to let the spike plant. Suave still does have the Sheriff to work with. For the moment, I guess it's the side of villains trying to go for an eco. Steal away a gun or two. Myth on the sneak. Yup. Blast. Bombot actually going to take out Suave. Bit of an interesting one. Myth goes to the right click. The left, right. Good knights. But it's all going to be in vain. Nebula take a second. A very aptly played round from them. Of course, this puts villains, though, in an opportunity to buy. They still have plenty of money, as we said, down to that 2k mark in the last one. But a few vandals to come out now. Ultimate's almost available for this entire villain side. It's only going to be to the orbital of Nebula. Waldo set up again at this A site. It's going to be the run it back used by Pocket. He's looking to go aggressive early on, though. It's going to be the Hunter's Fury Orbital Strike to flush these players outside of the U-Wall. They're all going to be taken down. Devour again sinks his fangs in. Nebula get themselves a spike down. The flash is good. Onto Orange Belly. Tosses the paint shells in return. And again, Nebula with another explosive hit towards this A site. It's going to be up to villains to retake yet again. Myth with the Al Drone through. Knows this to a new horse, Suave. Does he check the corner, though? He's not going to. Tax for the judge. It's another on the myth. Looking for the 30. Won't find it. Orange Pearl gets away with murder. Two for him. And two more to deal with towards short. One towards the shower. The rap has come in. Post plant position. Post plant mollies. This is a nebula comp true and through. I've been doing Pragma in the seams with Devour. It's another round on the board for Nebula. Villains back to Eco territory. As we said and as we looked at, this is a bit of a Fnatic S style of comp if you haven't seen it before. It's one Nebula are pretty comfortable in running. Jesse on the Sova, minimize rails on the Viper, tax on the Rays. It's a bit of an interesting one. Ultimate's now available for taxes and rails. Flash comes out, Guiding Light. Orange Bell looking for a shot here early on in the shower. A suave. And the rest of villains able to capitalize off of some aggression over at B. They find that first kill. Now, the rest of villains need to come into life. Marsh able to take one, but only one from him. As now Spike goes down again at A. For the side of Nebula, Seeker's going to be sent. Orbital Strike comes in. But it's planted on the other side of that box. Bit of an interesting plant position here for Jesse. As now two players come through the short side. It's going to be up to minimize. Guiding Light pops deep. That's him to safety. It's now Myth and Pocket on the approach. Need to go quick though. Ow. Recon Dark. Now shot from minimize. Bang from Pocket. Hot Hands Curveball available. Hot Hands goes out. Curveball already been used. Blaze goes up. Tries to cover Pocket's position. Majestic is going to swing through. Another round on the board. Nebula denying yet again another eco opportunity and not even needing to burn the ultimates there. You can see now Hunter's Fury built up by Jesse. And... This is not what I expected to see out of the gate from Nebula. Very, very interesting start to this one. Guns back in play for villains. Orange Bell showstopper. Marsh with the Viper's Pit. And Nebula playing a little bit more kosher. Viper's Pit early towards short. Denies any opportunity of really going up through that short side towards A. Myth and Suave. Tag team in the hookah. Stim goes down. The paint shell's going to be flying out in just a second. This is going to do some big damage. This is going to force them to trade their kills out. And there comes the Hunter's Fury. 
Trying to sink it deep. No pocket. It's able to live for the moment. That's going to call the rotation here. Orange spell on the way, but the entirety of Nebula have this beast side unlocked. That was an impressive trade from Rells and company. Spike goes down for Devour. Regrowth to full HP. He's able to live. He's able to get away with it. Main Shell's not going to pay off from Orange Pearl. He does have Showstopper. He's going to have to sink it deep. You can see already Devour setting up for this post plant. Rails in the hookah. Showstopper pulled. Tries to put it close under Jesse. Fighting the skin of his teeth. He's able to dodge it. Satchel goes out. Pete comes in. Orange Pearl caught. And the Util now to come into play. See Wallbang shots coming in. Devour's already dropped the molly. Orange Pearl's gonna have to go big to just try and take an exit. He's able to find Rails. He has to be cautious. Minimize his hold on his trail in just a second. 47 seconds make it. None. Another falls. Villains. Can't be the villains early on. The heroes in Nebula. Be writing at their storybook. We see a tactical timeout now for villains. A few early rounds. Now, all grayed out. Time stops. The call is made. What do villains opt to do here? You can see, just Nebula playing really default, able to win their gunfights, and then they play for the post plant as the composition allows them to. See Snakebite lineups. You can see Devour really good on these mollies, I have to say. Whether it's over at A or whether it's over at B, Devour's been on to it this entire game so far. 9-1 and one to start this one off, and not the performance we expected to see of him. We saw, you know, a bit of Devour last uh, series, of course, in the Autumn Cup Legends. We didn't see him in the VOT. They had Dragon actually play in the VOT. The Dragon's now officially gone from Nebula. He's been purged. VOT's ended. And I'm interested to see how this Nebula roster looks to rebuild here with Devour, because, you know, losing a prominent and very aggressive Duelist player. And, well, Nebula, they opt to go for a little bit more of a uh, utility-based composition. Not too reliant on their Duelists this time around. And seems to be paying off here, Villains. Haven't been able to answer so far. Smokes go up, paint shells. Able to give Tax all the positioning and room here that he wants to work with. Even able to drop the paint shell. Now it's a showstopper, point blank pocket. And tax just takes that B side under his grasp. Orange Pearl able to trade it back and it's now left to him and Myth. So there's a gun available for Orange Pearl. Ops to pick up the Vandal. Trying to toss the Bulldog over. Ton of util available still. Oh, he's been spotted though. Tax, that's such a sneaky angle. Orange Pearl. Gonna be taking the teleporter. Gonna be meet with a few members. He finds the first on to Jesse. Looking to pre-fire a second. Blast pack comes out. He sneaks it on the rails. He throws the aim off. He's able to use the other one to get himself out to safety. Two players. Now to one Orange Pearl. Really could all ask for is to steal away a gun or two. Keep the money low. And never mind. Nebula steal away Orange Pearl. They steal away another life in the server and six to one here for the side of Nebula. They're back in form. Kicking off this half of the bang. They've already tied it up. Just any more is a bonus here for the attack side of bind. Villains looking a bit shaky right now. They've had varying results. Still a little shooken from their last series against Tilted. Very aggressive push in the shower. This time though, Minimize is going to be holding for it. This is the bomb bot too. And then... Blast pack actually gonna come out. Showstopper pops. Now we're able to trade it back though. Pockets ready. Oh my god though. Tax. Able to find it. He was still like half midair. Mush. Now towards the back of the site. Able to make it work for the moment. 
Jesse trades it. Spike position plants now goes down. And the Bower still has Molly to work with. He's still got Sky Smoke, so he's got a ton of util to burn. Jesse, let me see the Aldrin come out. He's just gonna go for the fight. Tosses out the recon. Recon tossed by Myth. Now the approach in here for both villains players. Suave with the Molly short, stim dropped on the Myth. He's looking for shots onto Jesse towards the U-Haul. Devour. Needs to put that good work in, though. No, Suave's able to stick it. I thought the Molly was going to come out a little bit quicker, but Devour a little bit late to that one, and villains are able to steal away a second round. Molly. Not quite in play just yet here for the side of Nebula, and that's villains stealing away. They really shouldn't. Still pretty early days though. Guiding line again, very stock standard here from Minimize. Wonder if a few players start to read into that. Paint shells, bomb bot to get tax into hookah. You can see very calm for the moment. Villains understand that it might be another B hit though. The Hunter's Fury coming out from myth early on. Taking out tax. You can see now the Hunter's Fury in reverse. Jesse's trying to find one himself. We'll be trying to line off a shot. Seekers come out and the jump out through the window is coming in here for the side here. Viper's Pit comes into play. Welcome to my world. As we go on the B site, Nebula. Now to try and hold it down at 4v5. There's so many players here from Villains ready to retake it though. This is a good Viper's Pit to cover. Their orbital strike comes out, pushes them in to the site. Jesse needs to go gargantuan though. It's minimized. Tucked in the smoke, he pulls his knife out. Rails is still in the front of it. He's still dead to right though. Devour taken by Myth. A huge round for villains continues. And that's going to be a third now on the board. Villains continuing to go big and they continue to show their good form. A much needed third on the board for them. And again, I can see a bit of a fluctuating bit rate. Apologies for uh, the slideshow-esque quality stream, guys. Try my hardest to fix it. Hopefully you can bear with the technical issues here. Three to six, very doable. Retake to the half here for villains. Nebula. Started off with a commanding lead. The commanding doesn't necessarily mean untouchable. Already get killed. Minimize. Finding the first in the shower looking for our own spell. A few pot shots for the moment. Right here. Villains establishing themselves in a crossfire angle. You got Suave towards the garden. Myth towards front of sight. Towards the left side of tube. Hold it down. Sky smokes come in. And this is where they are put to the test. Suave isn't going to peek in just that moment. Villains now going to lose members by the numbers. Minimize now to hold the teleporter to. Last pack to fake it from Orange Pearl though. Nicely timed wall bang though. Tax takes that one. And Marsh is on the long walk out. That's going to be seventh given up here to Nebula. Fortunate for the side of Villains. The streak of good form not going to continue into this one. Because now, really, all these Nebula players can go for the hunt. They have a ton of money to work with. They have a ton to invest into it. You can see Marsh is sitting pretty in this U-Haul position. Of course, Nebula's map pick. And what a way to start their attack side off villains. Starting off the defense side, not so great. And 
you can see on the scoreboard devour still putting up numbers here 12 and 2 orbital strike available again this man is a monster i don't know what nebula have done in their practice in their scrims but whatever they've done they've powered up devour to unthinkable numbers trailblazer comes out minimize just trying to scout for the moment see pocket a bit of an aggressive push towards short though showstopper comes out tax trying to sink it paint shells tax oh my god tax blast packs to try and keep himself safe for the moment but it's minimized walked up taking out suave another trade from orange pearl paint shells come out spike goes down it tries to though myth now to battle of wits against Jesse. Myth stuck in a U-Haul. Jesse stuck up through short. Spike is down here. Or side of Nebula. It's a battle of the Sovers. It's a battle of the wits. Myth on the long rotation over towards B. And Jesse hasn't budged a muscle. He's going to take the teleporter. Myth's outbrained him here. This is so, so sick from Myth. He's got his crosshair train. He doesn't hit the shot, though. Myth, he's got the big brain, but not the big aim. Jesse puts eight on the board for Nebula. That was so well read from Myth. What's so unfortunate there on the shots. That's eight now on the board for Nebula, and Melon's their worst for wear. Their spirits shattered after that one. A huge read from Myth. Not going to pay off in the end. Ain't now on the board for Nebula. Last round of the half. Do we see a 9-3 or do we see an 8-4? Early Viper's Pit going up to short. Pocket. Looking for some early aggression here. So is Devour. He's in this Viper's Pit right now. He can see Pocket in front of him though. Pocket. Gets away with it and gets back to safety. Our drone comes out. And Nebula is still looking to go for it. All they need to do is really find this first pick on the Viper. Last pack up top. Tax able to find Suave. Royals finds Pocket. The Snake Spy takes out one. Marsh goes deep into it for another. This is going to be shot at by Minimize. He's able to get out to safety. He needs to be cautious though. He knows Tax is on the other end of things here. Marsh is buying time. Tax is going to have to go big here. Myth comes through the U-Haul. Does Tax expect it? No, he doesn't. Take it out. It's now left to minimize. As I said, spike down and short. Viper's pit still up. Walk through the Viper's Pit. It's really all you can do if you minimize right now. Let's retrieve the spike. 20 seconds to work with and could be looking to go B here. He's all invested in it. It's the Hail Mary road state from minimize. He tries and gets himself down into the site. He's able to plant in a bit of a more forward position. He's trying to take the fight. He's taken low and he's taken out by Orange Pearl. A brave play there from minimize. When it's four on the board here for villains to close out the half. As we look at the scoreboards here, it's a little bit even across the board for Nebula. Tax starting to put up numbers here with Devour, but I have to say Devour. Still a very impressive performance, and of course, probably sponsored and proudly brought to you. My LGO led and LG Ultra here. He's got all of the gear to work with. He's on it this evening. And we're still on the lookout for our Vodafone MVP award. So now the sides are swapped. Still villains in a rough spot. They need the pistol. They need a little bit of life into their sails. Nebula. We're going to go for a showers. Pete. Jesse. Very nicely timed. Shock Dark could be finding a few members. But now they wait for the plant. Royals able to find the first on a pocket trade by Devourer. And trade from Jesse. As he's now holding the crossfire for Devourer. Sky Smoke goes up. Flashes go in. Peak comes in from everybody here. 
It's up to Myth now to hold it. He's able to find the first, the second on the Devourer. He's going to be trailblazing. Will be flashed out. Doesn't have the time. He's completely blind by the birds. Myth, though, able to hit the shot and the minimize. But the spike will be tapped. It will be defused in the open. All of the Valiants be in vain. Myth not able to win that round. It's nine on the board for Nebula. Pistol goes their way yet again. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, I tell a lie. Pistol goes their way, and they're now 1 1 in pistols. Royals. Maybe going for an aggressive play. Spectres forced here by villains. They had the spike plant money. And Poison Orb's not going to land. Royals is just going to have to hold out in the open. He's going to pay for his life with the Util Mist. Devourer now a missed opportunity. He looks the wrong way off of the teleport. And villains all of a sudden have turned the jets up in this round they take a commanding stance on the a site and they take themselves commanding post plant positions here who left here it's tax jesse to try and salvage this round back try and find double digits for nebula we'll be seeing the one one special yet again area. recon immediately gonna be pinged out and jesse expects a player to be there after we shot out. Tax. Judge bang. Only one shot's needed at a close range like that. Paint shells fade away. Bombot for good measure. That's going to be a fifth round for the side of villains here. Nebula. Very, very impressive. Seems there to try and retake that round. Guardian for Jesse. Probably not what you want. And Bit of a missed opportunity on the huge silver rolls, I have to say. That toxic orb not going down. Very unfortunate, it seems. For the side of villains, it's a bit of a breather. Forcing Spectres into that round after getting the buy off. Very, very good thing. Snake Spite out for Rurals. If we're shocked up, an aggressive peek from Jesse is going to pay with his life. Tax able to find an orange pearl on the other side. Gets away with a cheeky little judged kill. Bang from Devour. Oh my god, Suave. Didn't even check the U haul there. Stacks. He's actually getting flashed by minimize he's wrapping those flashes the long way around guardian picked up by devour he tosses it away but he's tossed it at an unopportune time rolls now try and hold it down got to be expecting this player to flash an arc it wide pocket immediately taking kill gets himself a spectre set up for the post plant already minimize on the long flank Attacks with the judge coming through you. Hall could be massive. He doesn't check his corner though. Minimize. Now to do it. 10 bullets. He, everybody. He can't make a noise. He can't move a muscle. If he does, it's going to be all over for him. Bomb. Very securely planted. Spike will go off in the meantime. B comes out. He's able to take the first dink. He's able to get the reload off. Maybe looking to steal away, keep these players in the sight for the moment. Minimize, going to go for the peak. They're able to take him out, but will they fall to the spike? No, they get out. Very safe play from villains with their escape plan and everything routed. They find themselves a six now on the board. Fifteen kills for tax, fourteen for devour though. Side of villains, they're starting to warm it up a bit. Myth, orange spell, starting to put up numbers, and that's what you want to see really for the side of villains. We didn't get to see all too much of Myth in their last series. Had a bit of a rough one against Tilted. Appears he's back in good form. He's done his warm up. He's done his prac. But as outside of Nebula, they've 
Going for the buy here. They have the money to work with and minimize. It's not all so deep though. Nebula. Trying to go for this aggressive push through B long. It's not going to pay off. They read it this time. And let's marsh. Hold for it. It's going to pay off. The small wins. What's adding up for the moment? Paint shells. Tossed into hookah. But a rotation back over. Jump peek from Rails. Bit of an interesting one. Molly comes out. Now, so does the Toxic Orb. Rails has the wall down. It's going to be up to Devour here in the sights. Rails. Got to find the first from you, Hall. Underneath the smoke and underneath the guise of it. Jesse takes two. Devour just waiting to make his mark in this round. Goes for the peek on through. It's now left to Myth in a 1v5. Gets the first on to Rails. Needs to isolate duel after duel. Recon comes out, tries to beat it. But Devour able to finally find a second one on the board. And Nebula able to find themselves double digits now. And, you know, this is a bit of an interesting way that this game is formed. Of course, Nebula's map pick. But villains, they aren't too scared to play the bind themselves. More of an ascent team of recently. But Bind's still a pretty comfortable map for them overall. Nebula, they're going for this long push. You can see villains, they're ready for it. All stacked outside behind the box. Orange Bell, some of the peak on attacks. Attack's taking a bit of damage. Able to answer though, minimize. Finds the shot. Aldrin goes through. This reveals what the side of villains are up to, and they back off completely. They lie is a farce. It's going to be all a ruse. Thinking about going back to it, though. Myth's still here. Suave going to join him. It's very interesting to see Suave now on the Brimstone. Normally a prominent Astra player here for the side of villains. Brim. It would seem in recent times a pretty strong character in the meta. Snake Spy goes out, teleporter taken. It's going to be up to tax with his judge up on top of the box. Looking to find a first, will not collect any. And it's the B hit to come in here. Minimize trying to hold down the site here with Jesse, but Jesse's fighting them for the moment. Evens it down to the 2v2. Orbital being held by a devour. And he just waits for it and looks for the opportune moment to pop it. Back towards A, they will go, and back towards the road, St. Nebula go. As we now have 14 seconds on the clock. The Myth's got plenty of time to go for this plant. He's going to plant for default. They expect it to be default shower. It's actually default truck. Suave in the U-Haul, and Devour knows it too. In the walk up here. Now we get to see Devour in a bit of an interesting scenario. How well does he play off of his teammates? Rails with the fake tap. Recon comes out. Orbital comes in. Rails lines them up with a power though. They wait out the orbital. They wait out the side and they beat the swing. And they're going to be fighting an 11th on the board. Nebula. That was an impressive swing there and a crucial duel to win for Rails. Pays off to his dividend. Now one away from match point, two away from closing it out in this first map. Villains. I have to say, though, it's still been an impressive game for them so far. It's all to the credit of Myth and Orange Pearl Pocket. Also, doing his bits. Ultimates available for two players here. Hunter's Fury, Viper's Pit for the run at back of Villains. And Rills still can't seem to land that Poison Orb. Maybe needs uh, a little bit more time in the lineups in the custom games, of course, but I digress. Rails are probably 10 times better jet player, or Viper player, sorry, than half of us in the chat and in the game right now. Definitely a way better Viper player than I could ever hope to be. It's just very interesting to see. Normally you see you have players uh, develop lineup. Blazer comes out from Minimize and 
Life has been popped on A for Rails. Goes up, covers, tax. We've seen this position on uh, a few YouTube videos, but well, the side of villains, check it. Marsh, he's not going to expect it. And pounce like Batman, tax takes on the first kill. He needs to be cautious. He's already been pinged. He's being shot in the back right now. Orange Bill, still not able to line up that kill. Pain shells come out, tax. Able to steal the show with another. Thirty seconds left. takes another in the shower line. Over towards B they will go, but minimize and Jesse are ready for this flash peak. They're gonna go for it. Spike drops. That orange pill in the one v three. Has the spike, but he's got thirteen seconds to try and go for a plant. Ten seconds left. Snake spike down. He's gonna be aggressed upon Jesse. Not gonna go it. That was all to the credit attacks. That was a very impressive angle. And maybe one villains weren't expecting to see this game. Maybe they're still seeming to do their homework. They've got match point now and they've got another ultimate to work with. They burnt the Snake Spite in that last one. Sorry, Viper's Pit in the last one. Now the Hunter's Fury though on Jesse. He lands it this time. He sticks it 10 out of 10 on the scorecard. There you go, Rolls. Second times a charm. I'm looking to go for a bit of an A default here. Early Viper's Wall. Hunter's Fury. Early by Jesse. Maybe expects them to come out through the shower line. Devour? Play on the other side of the smoke. That shot that's land very well. But has to take it out. Marsh. Hasn't taken him low either. Oh, Devour. Nice little molly onto the spike. Minimize is able to take the duel in the showers. Showstopper pop by Tax isn't going to land. It's all now to Jesse as side of villains. Starting to find themselves these trade kills and putting themselves in favorable post plant spots. Molly comes out. Orange Bell Dink. Jesse taken. My suave. Clean and cut. Here cuts across the board here by villains. They find themselves a seven on the board. And 18 and 8 devour still doing absolutely massive work here for the side of villains oh sorry for the side of nebula villains and spin to the credit of orange pearl marsh myth now starting sorry myth and marsh marsh now starting to put up numbers and nebula still have money to buy in this one Going to go for a potential Chowers Peak again. Side of Villains. Playing a little bit more default. So Dark goes over towards the B site. Rotation over towards A. And play here. Jesse. Is going to have to go huge. Poison orb goes down. The footsteps are heard. This is the Hunter's Fury being popped. They're trying to flush out Jesse. He's from forward though. In a bit of a different position. Tosses out the spike. Goes for the recon. But doesn't expect to play a close smoke. Myth goes for the bang headshot. But will they expect tax on the flank so quickly? Very quickly timed play here from Nebula. They're able to trade one and another. Minimize and tax secure the spike. They've got guiding light. They've got 30 seconds now to work with Tax now to tuck into the corner guiding light goes out Toxins go down to Minimize. Oh my god. It rains a quick peek. It's left to minimize now The marsh sneak spike comes out and minimize doesn't land the shot marsh The bravest pre-fire the bravest peak I've ever seen Able to find villains there eighth and able to put another on the board here. Nebula, that was truly their crowning moment, but isn't over until the fat lady sings. Villains continue. Let's push it forward round after round. Now it's to the eco buy here. It's going to be a bit of a force push. 
towards the short side. Suave needs to be good on his promise, but he's not going to find any. Jesse finds that kill. Tax has a Vandal now to work with. Marsh able to trade back. Tax with a missed opportunity, though. Kills going to and fro. Leaves it down on the 2v1 for Minimize. He tosses a very interesting hawk. I don't know if that one actually goes towards A. Plant will go down for villains. And 2v1 ensues. Does Minimize have it in him to try and take it? Hawk goes out, guiding light. Trailblazer. Now for the hunt. Minimize. Sees one in the showers. This is a very unfortunate position for him to be in. Bang shot. Orange Pearl takes it. Villains take a ninth now on the board. This is a very good comeback of rounds from them. Three in a row. To the three in a row of Nebula. And it's going to be up to this one. Jesse on the operator. Not going to be a surgeon. It's going to have to be pristine with his shots. It's actually going to boost up tax into this position, I believe. Yep, there it is. The player boost up towards the high line. Villains. They expect this B long push, but... Minimize just trying to secure Seekers early on. Just trying to secure this game off for villains. Shock Dart comes into play. Bill. Waiting a move here from villains. Oh, the side of Nebula. Side of Nebula, not budging a muscle for the moment. Over, back towards short. Shot initial from Jesse. Sends more hopes towards the B site here for villains. This is going to be up to minimize. And now to devour. He has to await the plant. He has to await the players to come in now I'm gonna be the orbital strike he's just waiting for a plant timer he's just waiting for the opportunity to pop it viper's pit goes down devour is able to take out pocket the orange pill is able to take out devour rolls tries to sneak into the site shots coming out rolls low able to find one on a myth he didn't even see him he just pre-fired him shot on the march two now blast pack on to the showstopper orange pearl Able to steal that round back to villains. 10 on the board. Orange Pearl. A collateral of massive seams. I don't think we'll ever see a round as close as that ever again. Villains. They're not done with this first map just yet. Nebula. Now back to a save by Orange Pearl. A gargantuan ultimate. I thought that was going to go to Nebula. Very grave push. Judge shot. Devour takes two. Looking for a third. He gets it on the fourth. Orange Pearl. The hero of last round. Now stolen away. Villains only strike once. It's down to Marsh. Dodging out the Hunter's Fury. But he's not long for life at this stage. Jesse to the peak. And Jesse to finish it off. Break the spirits of villains after...